Okay, Derek here with the closet doctor running a little test. We're going to check and see whether uh, running a return onion skin on the parts will be faster and leave the, leave the parts clean enough. We don't have to vacuum them and uh, save us time over vacuuming and unloading the table. So this first one that we're going to run here is going to be uh, without the onion skin. Okay, one thing about uh, doing it without the onion skin you can see here it is doing the it's running the pattern in the what they call the part outline so it's going to go around and it never picks up the tool on the whole sheet for this style of one it's going to just we're just cutting out squares here we're not doing any other drilling so it's going to come out and cut the parts out without ever lifting the tool Okay, we had a little bit of movement on it because this is just a piece of scrap, but you can see here that it left in, uh, in the groove there. It left large amounts of sawdust in there. It didn't thoroughly clean out. Some places where it came in and out, it did, but other areas it didn't. So I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna time it to see how long it takes me to uh, vacuum it off here with my vacuum that I've got at the table. Okay, we went ahead and vacuumed everything clean here. So everything's all clean, that's where it would be. And the actual time for uh, walking over, picking up the vacuum, putting it, uh, doing the vacuuming and then putting it, returning away, were about 44 seconds. Okay, then I, after removing all the parts, I uh, took the air hose and blew it off and it added another 10 seconds to it. So now I'm gonna load the other sheet and we will run the other program with it onion skinning and see it how see how it works out okay so now we're running and it's gonna onion skin it the first thing it's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna cut out the, the eight parts and it's gonna leave a little bit on uh, the table and you'll notice as it completes each square each shelf it picks up moves right next door and then cuts it out again so this takes a little bit more time to do it this way. We'll see what the results are at the end. Okay, it's just finishing up here. We'll see how everything looks. Okay, we're all done. Uh, this is with the onion skin. And as you can see, it has left everything. Back of the machine there. Pretty dang spotless. I see no buildup of, there's no dust left to, to vacuum out. We got a little bit on the end here uh, in that slot there, but no real dust anywhere else in the back. So there's no additional dust on it. So here's my table after I've removed all the parts couple little pieces there and this little bit right there prefer not to blow that off but we could actually skip the vacuuming on this and just take it and give it a quick uh, blow off hang on so blowing it off after without having to vacuum it or anything like that we're about nine seconds nine ten seconds the same as the other one so here are, uh, this just kind of a, the time study on there with it, with no onion skin on it. it. Takes us a minute 18 to run the part, vacuum it off and blow it off. Took 54 seconds and that gives us a total of uh, two minutes and 12 seconds. When we run the onion skin, because of the way it runs the parts, it takes more than double the time. It took two minutes and 48 seconds to complete it. And then it took us 10 seconds to blow it off and gave us a 258 uh, two minutes and 58 seconds. So we're 46 seconds longer to do it with the onion skin. Definitely leaves a cleaner, uh, a cleaner setup. If you're doing, you know, 10 sheets a day, that's 10 minutes. It's not completely lost because it's, it's time that the operator uh, doesn't have to be at the machine. He's not there watching it. He can be actually doing other things. You know, if you're not running a lot of stuff, we're, run, we're normally running about 45 sheets a day. And so that, you know, that's, that's 45 minutes a day more to go uh, with that process. So we, we wouldn't go with that. But your results may vary. You may be able to output uh, your code in a different format that it can have common line cutting. If that, uh, if that was the possibility, if you could get it to, 
a, you know continue one continuous cut uh, on both the pre-cut and the and the onion skin I think it would cut that time in half uh, or not in half but you would have you would just run the part and that would be two minutes and 30 seconds we're a little closer still a little bit longer but it's one less step in the process so you'll have to uh, you know adjust it for for your uh, your works but we know now that onion skinning will definitely take a little bit more time